Sports anime have always been extremely popular amongst anime fans because of the way it's glorified and made intense. All genres of anime are addictive, but when it comes to sports anime, they take it to the extreme. The exciting, stimulating, and inspirational scenes from sports anime are sure to keep anime fans on the edge of their seats. So, because this is also my favorite genre personally, just throwing that out there for all the single ladies. Just kidding. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into our list of best sports anime. I suggest you keep yourself hydrated because this list is gonna work you out, baby. By that I mean mentally. Alright guys, as an honorable mention, we're gonna start it off with number 22, which is Baby Steps. This one is such an underrated sports anime, despite it being so unique. The main focus of this anime is tennis, and it approaches this sort of in a very different way. We see characters hitting rock bottom and then rising as unbeatable heroes. Everybody loves a story like that, am I right? The anime is sure to impress you if you love drama. It depicts the story of a first year high school student, Maru Echiro, who chooses tennis as a sport he wants to play. Now, he's an excellent student and gets good grades, but when it comes to playing some sort of sport, he's a total loser. <laughs> You guys know anybody like that? A moment of silence for my sports career. After taking an interest in tennis, he devotes his everything he's got to it and becomes unbeatable. Alright, at number 21, we have Kapeki Danshi Aoyama-kan, also known as Clean Freak. Aoyama-kan, another sports anime that depicts the perfect blend of comedy as well as an atmosphere of seriousness and competition. Kapeki Danshi Aoyama-kan is sure to impress you. Its main focus is soccer. By the way, I was on my high school soccer team. I just didn't go to practice. So if you're a fan of soccer and also some lighthearted comedy, then you're in for a treat, my friends. This anime is about a clean freak and self-sufficient guy, Aoyama, who's adored by everyone in his high school. But the weird thing is that he plays soccer, which is a rather dirty sport. So despite being a dirty sport, Aoyama cleanly paves his way to the top. But the path to the Nationals is not going to be that easy, baby, as Aoyama thinks. Along with the striker of his team, Karu Zaizen, he'll show that there are some things that he'll happily get himself dirty for. Hmm, damn, it's like that, ladies, watch out. All right, at number 20, we have Inazuma 11. This anime takes soccer to the extreme, making it one of the most interesting sports anime. It features a wide range of interesting and likable characters that you'll find yourself rooting for them. You'll indeed get to witness a lot of over-the-top flashy moves that are very common in other anime genres. However, you'll enjoy those flashy moves and they'll get you all excited like a little girl. This anime personally became very nostalgic and sentimental for me, so I'd recommend this anime to anyone who's really into soccer. Inazuma 11 is about a zealous young boy named Endu Mamoro. He's a part of a six-member team who faces serious hardships while climbing the stairs to the top. Endo gathers different players throughout the series to make his team the best. In Japan, we see a lot of action and exciting matches between different teams that are unforgettable. And at number 19, we have Run With The Wind, Kaziga Tsuyoku Futeru. I don't know how to say that. This anime leans more towards the drama than the actual sports action. So if that's your cup of tea, baby, then you're going to love this one. It depicts the art form in a way that cannot be replicated in any other way. You will find yourself loving this anime because of its realistic portrayal of life and some philosophical questions that you find very relevant at times. And we don't see a lot of anime that focus on running and consistency it as a form of sport. Character development in this one is insane and the characters are also very realistic. This anime makes you think that running allows everyone to compete against themselves. Like I think that's how life should be you know but I get it it's hard when people are around you you get competitive. I'm like that. You will also find yourself laughing throughout this anime because of its epic comedy. Haiji Kiyose is a very energetic fourth year student at Kansai University who has been secretly gathering different men for the track and field team of the university campus. Kiyose wishes to take part in Hakone Ekiden which is a popular Rila University marathon race. And number 18, we have one of my personal favorite sports and anime itself called Ping Pong the Animation. 
Ping Pong has the most unique animation style and visuals in our list of best sports anime. It is not your average sports anime that offers a lot of fan service. It will take some time for you to get used to its animation style. The characters in this anime are very enjoyable and you can feel them develop in a very realistic manner. The action in this anime is spectacular and will leave you in awe. It revolves around table tennis, which we don't see a lot in anime. Overall, it's an enjoyable anime that you're going to love watching if you don't follow the norms when it comes to watching anime. This anime centers around two childhood friends, Smile and Peko. They both play table tennis for Katase High School. Peko's self-esteem is crushed after a student named China beats him and Peko just stops practicing altogether. Smile, on the other hand, is always reluctant in giving his full potential while playing with Peko because of Peko's personality for some reason. Smile's coach tries to change this about Smile and motivate him to give his all while playing. The players in this anime find the true meaning of playing ping pong after a lot of struggles, ups and downs. And number 17, we have Megalobox, another crowd favorite. This one is for all the boxing freaks out there. There's a lot of hype created around boxing and anime fans loving watching boxing anime because of how action packed they usually are. It features engaging action scenes that keep you coming back for more. Everything from animation to the background is just perfect. It leaves the fans in awe because of how fascinating the boxing matches are. You definitely need to watch this anime if you're a boxing fan. The series takes place in a futuristic Japan where licensed people live in the city while the unlicensed ones are forced to live in the slums on the outskirts. Our main protagonist, who lives by the name of Junk Dog, is a boxer who possesses a technique for rigging Megalobox matches that he uses to support himself along with his friend Kensaku Nanbu. But Yuri, who's the number one top dog, a skilled boxer, comes into play and soon his life gets tangled with Junk Dog as they become rivals fighting each other to be the king of the ring. And number 16, we have Whistle. This anime focuses on soccer, but is much more than just a soccer anime. It is very entertaining and not bland at all. I would say. The characters are also very fun and keep you entertained throughout. We also see some degree of development in the main character as he interacts with other characters, which is amazing. Whistle is about a boy named Kazamatsuri Sho who aspires to be a great soccer player but doesn't exactly possess a very good soccer playing skills. I'm starting my life. He luckily gets accepted into the prestigious Musashi no Mori Junior High, which is known for its amazing soccer team. But our boy just could have rise to the top there you know what i'm saying he just stayed a third stringer so he moves to sakura josui junior high where he's finally able to polish his skills along with other friends that push him forward Sho paves his way to achieving his dream with his willpower and number 15 we have Captain Tsubasa. This anime is no doubt one of the gems in classic sports anime, a soccer anime that you're going to love. It features a very simple story that gradually becomes intense and leaves you in awe. The 90s kids would definitely remember this gem of an anime. I'm a 90s kid. I get it, I'm old. The characters in this anime are very unique and distinctly recognizable. You will be extremely excited because each match has its dynamics and level of difficulty. I praise this anime for the diversity and engagement that keeps you coming for more. Captain Tsubasa is about an 11 year old young boy named Tsubasa who is obsessed with playing soccer. Tsubasa moves with his mother to Nankatsu City which is famous for its exceptional elementary school soccer teams. Now, although Tsubasa is a very talented young man when it comes to playing soccer, it will take something more than talent for Tsubasa to become the best of the best. He encounters a lot of rivals and makes a lot of friends who push him forward and maybe even to the top. And at number 14, we have One Outs. This anime focuses mainly on sports action and will keep you hooked till the end. If you're not a fan of drama with sports anime, this could keep you busy then. The main character is a badass and is very attractive because of his personality ladies that's right the action in this anime is fantastic and will keep you entertained without losing your attention the anime focuses on baseball which is the most favorite sports genre of the Japanese if you're a fan of baseball and love some hardcore sports action then you're in for a gem one out is about the gambler named Tua Takuchi who is also an athlete he outwits everyone at one outs which is a simplified form of baseball for those of you who don't know with one pitcher and one batter Hiromi 
Koichi Kojima is a veteran slugger that scouts Tua for his unsuccessful team, the Sakyo Saitama Lake Hounds. Now, Kojima hopes that Tua will take their team to the top. However, the owner of Lee Cones sees Tua as a threat to the team's income. So he puts forward a condition for Tua, which is that he suggests that every out that Tua pitches will earn him 5 million yen. And with every run he gives up, he'll lose 50 million yen. Kind of unfair odds, but our man does like to gamble. And number 13, we have one of the most famous anime. Initial D. This one is for all the gearheads out there. Initial D is a fast paced sports anime about racing that has the ability to draw you into the races and make you think about what's going to happen next. The protagonist of this anime is very hard to figure out, which makes him really interesting. The animation is a mix of two mediums, regular animation for the characters and background 3D CGI animation for the cars. The race scenes are surprisingly very exciting when coupled with pumping background music. The story of this anime is about a street racer who's very passionate about racing and doesn't hesitate to speed down a mountain passes at more than 100 miles per hour. The two characters Takumi Fujiwara and Itsuki Takeuchi who are high school friends have just obtained their driving licenses. Itsuki aspires to be a street racer and joins a local team, the Akina Speed Stars. On the other hand, Takumi is not very obsessed with the driving or becoming a street racer. At number 12 we have a volleyball anime for you, 243 Sane High School Boys Volleyball Team. This is an ongoing anime that focuses on volleyball, one of the most loved sports in Japan by the way. The fluidity of the animation is amazing and its characters are very likable. We see beautiful volleyball action that is very addictive, frankly speaking, if you're a haiku lover. If you're a fan of simple yet emotional plot as well as melodrama, then this one is for you. The plot revolves around two childhood friends, Kimichika Hajima and Yuni Kuroba, who reunite after enrolling at in high school. Kimichika possesses exceptional athletic attributes but gets vulnerable under pressure. Both of them join the volleyball team after a lot of practice and hard work also become their town's new rising stars. At number 11 we have Major. Another baseball anime here but this time it's one of the longest sports anime series with an ongoing timeline. It does not only focus on the sport itself but also has some comedy and heavy on the drama side. The most effective points for this anime are the spectacular character development and engaging storyline. Major revolves around the life and career of Goro Honda. He got interested in baseball because of his father who is a great baseball player. But as his life and his love for baseball become tangled together in knots, he gathers courage and stays strong in the face of hardships. Alright number 10 we have a tie, that's right a tie. The first one for this number 10 position is called Ice Shield 21. Some of you may have heard about it, the anime with the intense bumping. Ice Shield 21 is all about American football baby, let's go, I'm Canadian by the way but you know, same difference. The crazy sports action coupled with humor makes it a perfect football anime. It's also very intense and will keep you coming back for more. If you're a fan of some crazy sports action then you're in for a ride. Ice Shield 21 is about a boy named Sena Kobayakawa who gained exceptional physical power by running different errands due to all the bullying he faced. Look at that, you know, turning something crazy in life into a positive. This is why we love anime. His immense physical power was discovered by the captain of Devil Bats American Football. Senna simply wanted to be the manager of the field but things happened and he becomes the legendary Ice Shield 21 pushing his team forward to victory. The other number 10 position holder is one of my favorite anime, Ahiru Nusora. Another show with some of the most realistic characters, Ahiru Nusora is loved by a lot of anime fans around the world. It revolves around basketball and gained immense popularity because of its realistic characters. If you're a fan of some decent anime action then this one could keep you busy for days. Sora Kurumatani is a high school student who aspires to be the best basketball player. He made a promise to his mother that he'll be the best of the best. He joins the basketball club of Kizuryu High School and finds out that it's a den of delinquents. <laughs> Sora changes his team with sheer hard work and pushes them forward to the road of victory while his mother lies sick in the hospital. And number 8 we have Prince of Tennis. An anime about tennis but is very different from other anime that involve tennis. It features out of this world sports action that will keep you hooked till the end. The animation is also spectacular 
spectacular and the characters are quite enjoyable. This one is for all the tennis freaks out there. It follows the story of a tennis prodigy, Echizen Ryoma, who has won a lot of tennis matches despite his young age. There's only one person though he can never win against, his father. He enrolls in Sheishun Gakun and joins an outstanding tennis team. He passes a lot of obstacles and trains like crazy so he can one day be able to defeat his father. And at number 7 we have Diamond No Ace. One of my personal favorite anime, Diamond No Ace or Ace of Diamonds. I won't be exaggerating if I say that Diamond No Ace stands at the top of all the baseball anime out there because of its amazing storyline. The way the characters are portrayed in the anime and their attitude towards their favorite sport, baseball, is unbelievable. There's nothing ordinary about this anime. The in-game tension is something you won't find in other anime. The sound effects and background music are going to give you the chills. The series follows a baseball pitcher, Eijin Sawamura, who develops a very unusual change of pitch which occurred to him naturally. During his match with a team from a local high school, Ajin is scouted by a scout from the prestigious Sato High School and offers him a scholarship as well as a chance to make it to the nationals. After visiting the school, Ajin's whole outlook of his future changes. He joins the baseball team but finds himself very unskilled and in comparison when surrounded to a lot of talented players. He declares that one day, he will become the ace of the team. He, along with his teammates, aspire to become the best of the best and train like crazy as they strive to become the number one baseball team in all of Japan. At number 6 we have Yuri on Ice, an anime with a lot of fan service. Yuri on Ice is going to make you drool and swoon over the characters and you're going to get wrapped in their charm. This one's for all the yaoi fangirls. This anime is very special on a lot of levels. With its stellar animation and addicting background music, you definitely want to rewatch it. It revolves around skating, which we don't see in a lot of other sports anime. The unique theme makes it different from all other sports anime. The story stories about a figure skater named Yuri Katsugi who returns to his hometown because of his crushing defeat. Soon after Yuri's video goes viral in which he's performing a routine that was previously performed by a world champion Viktor Nikiforov. Viktor approaches Yuri and proposes that he wants to be his mentor. Isn't that like all our dreams to just like have some cool ass dude one day show up and be like hey I'll be your mentor. Yeah just never happened. Yuri being a fan of Viktor eagerly accepts his offer offer and starts his journey back to the world of skating. His journey is not as easy as he meets a lot of other figure skaters who want to literally crush him to make it to the top. At number 5 we have Free Iwatobi Swim Club. Being immensely popular because of its fan service, Free is sure to sweep you off your feet. It's for those of you who like to see a lot of hot boys swimming with sparkle all over. The artwork of the anime is so beautiful that it will make you want to go swimming, literally even if you don't know how to do it. It's going to refresh your senses. One of the best things about this anime is the character development and the relationship of the characters with each other. The theme of this anime is very unique and entertaining. The anime revolves around Haruka Nanase who has a natural affinity towards the water and a passion for swimming really. He won a relay race in elementary school along with his friends Rin, Matsuka, Nagisa Hazuki and Makoto Tachibana. The four friends though went their separate ways. They reunited again as high school students but it seemed that Rin couldn't care less about how things used to be. He also wants to show Haruka that he's a much better swimmer than him. Haruka, Nagisa and Makoto form a swim club along with a fourth member, Rei. The four members form a close bond while training and Haruka decides to settle the score with Rin once and for all. And at number 4 we have Kuruko no Basket. Standing proud at number 4 is an anime that's all about ba Ball. You will not see such intense sports action in any other anime maybe. It's immensely popular all around the world because of its stellar animation and pumping background music. The characters are also very charming and likable. It'll be hard for you to choose one favorite character. With such amazing stunts, it is safe to say that Kuruko no Basket is one of the best basketball anime of all time. Yeah, I said it. This anime starts with Teiko Middle School rising to the distinction by crushing all competitors. The team became the generation of miracles. The five prodigies went to different schools after graduating and had no idea there's another sixth phantom prodigy that everybody really didn't know about. The sixth player, Kuruko, and a naturally talented player, Taiga, aspire to become the best of the best team and face many challenges during their training and matches while competing to be the best along other schools. 
And at number three, we have Slam Dunk. We're finally at the top three, ladies and gentlemen, of our list of the best sports anime. And this position is secured by none other than Slam Dunk. It will be safe to say that Slam Dunk is the best basketball anime of all time. The exciting stunts and very realistic game experiences are going to keep you hooked to it. It is also featuring a perfect blend of drama, action, and comedy. Comedy is key, guys. I love it. This anime revolves around the story of a high school student named Hanamichi Sakuragi. After getting rejected by his crush, he channels his anger in basketball and becomes very skilled at it. He meets another girl named Haruko who teaches him basketball and falls in love with her. His road to love is definitely not easy. The elder brother of Haruko is the captain of the team and his crush is the ace. And at number two, we have one of the top tier level anime, Haikyuu. The second place on our list of the best sports anime goes to none other than Haikyuu. This anime is perfect in every way and has a remarkable plot with realistic characters. It also portrays the complex relationship between the characters flawlessly. This anime shows teamwork that no anime has ever been able to show before. It's just so inspiring if you work with a team in any sort of capacity. It just really inspires and motivates you. You will feel attached to the player at an emotional level and they'll make you fall in love with them. It also features brilliant volleyball action that will keep you hooked throughout. Overall, Haikyuu is an all-rounder and the best volleyball anime out there, period. Ba-bam. Ba-bam. Haikyuu is a story about a boy named Hinata Shoyo who, despite his short height, wants to be the best. He aspires to become the little giant of his team and works very hard at it. During middle school, he's crushed by the king of the court, Tobio Kageyama. His self-esteem gets crushed and he vows to join a school with a volleyball team and decides to settle the score with Kageyama once and for all. A lot of things happen and Kageyama and Hinata actually end up being in the same team in high school. Along with their other team members, Hinata and Kageyama show amazing teamwork and make their way to become the top team nationally. And without further ado, the number one heavyweight champion of the world goes to Hajime no Ippo. We finally arrived at the top of our list. Hajime no Ippo is the anime that deserves to be on the top because of its immense popularity and character development. Out of all the anime that exist, this one is the best. This anime shows boxing at its finest. It portrays out of the world boxing action that you might not have witnessed before in any other anime period. It will make you ponder that boxing is much more than punishment and frantic action. It teaches us the importance of diligence, consistency, discipline, perseverance throughout the drama and action of its story. Hajime no Ippo is about Makanochi Ippo's struggle in boxing and his private life as well. He was bullied and made to do chores that he never wanted to do. He had no confidence at all and was a pushover most of his life. He was found by a boxer named Takamura who one day when he was being bullied stepped in and Takamura brings him to a boxing gym where he decides to redeem himself. After a lot of tests, he decides to take up boxing as his interest and polishes his boxing skills. He changes his weak side and is now a different and stronger person. With sports anime being so thrilling, there's no end to fans' fascination with athletes and games. They not only include sports action, but also have a hint of drama to make it feel more realistic. I hope you liked our list of the best sports anime of all time. I hope you're ready for an adrenaline rush. Pick up your favorite and start binge watching today. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Make sure to subscribe guys. Hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Ernie Senpai signing out later.